Hey everybody, Cruise Man here. Today on Cruise Man's Garage, we're gonna do an unboxing video for the Fobo Bike Tire Pressure Monitoring System. Something I don't usually do, I don't usually do an unboxing. And this thing has a very nice packaging. This is basically a Bluetooth tire pressure monitor. You don't have to install any kind of head or monitor on the bike to, to view your tire pressure monitor, uh, tire pressure. You basically just use a smartphone like this. I'm going to use my LG Android iOS phone. We'll test it with that. And as you can see, the box is very small. So all that's included, you just have this little, very nice little magnetic flip-up um, lid. Please read before installation. We'll read that during the installation. Inside, you've got two tire pressure monitor sensors. These install on your valve stem. Just replace the valve stem cap with this little device here. If I get this out of here, you can see it's very small, very lightweight, very compact. I'm impressed. The rest of this hardware is used to lock these in place so that somebody can't just walk up to your bike and take off your tire pressure sensor. So, very cool. Those come in black and silver, if you'll notice on the end of the, of the box. That's actually pretty nice because if you've got chrome wheels, or you know spoke wheels with chrome you don't want a black tire pressure sensor you may want a silver so anyway let's go install these on my 2012 Honda Goldwing and see how they work installation is really simple you just screw the sensors onto the valve stem as shown here and then you use your smartphone Go ahead and install the app, which you download for free, and it will direct you on how to program the sensors uh, for your bike. And then once they're programmed, you'll get a message saying that installation is complete. And then once you click OK, it's going to instantly show you the tire pressure and the temperature for that tire. It's pretty cool. Now, once you have both tires done, this is how the, the app looks when it's on your bike, and it updates live automatically. Installing the security lock is also a simple process. You basically uh, thread this small plastic nut underneath the sensor. You just screw it onto the valve stem, put your sensor on top of it, screw it down tight, and then using the small wrench tool that they give you in the kit, you go back and, and sort of unscrew that nut so that it's tight up against the back of the FOBO sensor and it does actually hold it in place makes it very difficult to remove and then of course you can just store this wrench on your bike so that you have it if you need it. Now that I've spent a couple of days with this FOBO TPMS I have a better understanding of how it works and how it compares to the Duran TPMS which I've used for a couple of years. First of all there's no comparing the simplicity of installation. This FOBO system is super simple, takes less than five minutes. I'm including the time it takes to download the app, get the sensors programmed. It really is simple. The FOBO sensors are smaller and lighter than the Duran sensors. As you can see here, the Duran is on the left. Now, another huge advantage that FOBO has is you can replace the batteries. The Duran system, when the batteries die, you got to buy a new sensor, and they're not cheap. So that's a huge plus in favor of the FOBO. You also do not have to mount anything to the bike. You don't have to uh, hardwire anything like a monitor as you do with the Duran system. It's completely wireless, and that's a huge plus for most people. So what are some of the pluses and minuses of the FOBO system? Well, first of all, it's simple to install. We've already talked about that. It works with an iPhone or an Android, but only certain versions, so make sure you check that out first. It's completely wireless, so there's nothing to hardwire to your bike. And you get an instant readout of your tire pressure and the temperature. Now, that's something the Duran does not do. The Duran can take several minutes before those sensors connect to the monitor before you know what your tire pressure is. You can also add multiple sensors to the system very easily. So if you have a trike or a trailer, it's very easy to upgrade and it shows the temperature. The Duran system does not show you the tire temperature. And of course, for cost savings, replaceable batteries, big plus.
Okay, so now what's the downside? Well, first of all, you have to own a smartphone and you have to have a relatively new smartphone with a relatively recent version of the operating system and uh, Bluetooth 4.0 or greater. So the next thing is the smartphone must be on and the Fobo app must be open, otherwise you don't have tire pressure monitoring. So of course you could keep it in your pocket, I suppose, and feel the buzzer or something if the alarm went off. But what if you're using your smartphone for some other purpose, like say controlling a GoPro camera as you're going down the road? Well, you wouldn't have tire pressure monitoring at that point. However, if you want to use it to check your tire pressure before you get on the bike, it's great for that. And it's also good if you want to leave it on all the time, power the phone, from your bike somehow so it's always open, that works too. Now I think the bottom line is this, the Fobo system does exactly what it says it will do. And if you're a big smartphone user and you have one on your bike anyway, you're probably going to love this thing and I highly recommend it.